Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are continuing our playthrough of The Darkest Tales. Now, this is, of course, a horror based platformer which takes various fairy tale stories and puts a horror spin on them. And in episode one, we took this little teddy bear with these two pieces of scissor through the first world, which was based on Little Red Riding Hood. The whole goal of this game is to try and save this girl called Alicia, who is the bear's owner, from her nightmares. So, we're venturing into the little girl Alicia's nightmares with this bear and this little sprite that kind of follows him around and the two of them are on this journey to save the girl from her nightmares so if you haven't seen part one you know just go check it out and you'll catch up i decided to continue this playthrough because you guys showed a lot of support on episode one and as long as you're watching i will continue this as a series so with that said let's dive into the darkest tales part two Okay, so this is where we left off. As you can see, we are now in the area called The Gullible, and this is based by the look of it on Jack and the Beanstalk. First area was called The Hate, which we've completed 50% of, because I think you can like revisit areas as you upgrade your abilities. Kind of like the game Ori and the Blind Forest, but yeah, we've done 50% of that. That's the Red Riding Hood stage, and now we are in The Gullible. So yeah, let's get started. See what happens in the story next. Got a little house in the woods. What's this shiny bag? Huh. Looks like a bag of uh, beans. To grow mm. the beanstalk, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. They must be magic beans. We already worked that out. <laughs> magic beans? Of course. We're at the house where that nice boy lived. The one who traded a cow for this priceless treasure. Mm, priceless treasure. Would you please stop repeating everything I say? Beans for a cow just doesn't seem like a great deal. It wasn't. You don't think so? That's the moral of the story. This plant grew from just wow. one Wow. Okay, that's this a big giant. More sense now. Okay, I suppose that's pretty impressive. Just out of curiosity, what happens if you eat them? Probably explode, right? Don't be ridiculous. They're much too powerful. Only a complete half-wit would eat them. The risks would be enormous. No, don't eat them. What the heck? Oh, no. Okay, that was bad. Is he going to explode? Nope, he's just getting big. Oh, he's okay. <laughs> I was kind of worried then. I was like, is he going to die already? Furbrain, what have you done? Uh, nothing. I just ate the magic beans. Can a bear not get hungry in this world? You're hopeless. But since you haven't exploded, let's figure out how to make the most of your new powers. Okay, sounds good. Right, so it says magic charge. Hold L1 to charge your magic power. The magic will amplify your next hit and can be upgraded via the skill tree. Charging will consume mana. See if we can upgrade. So we've got two skill points currently. And previously we upgraded our health and attack power. So do we want to upgrade the magic? Teddy ate some magic beans. What new powers or side effects will he unlock next? So we can increase our mana pool or mana pool. And by doing so, I guess we get more mana to use. So maybe we should do that. I'm not sure. We can add extra health to our health bar or we can increase your attack speed. You know what? I'm going to be diplomatic and as we've increased these by one, I'm going to increase this by one. There we go. Increased mana. Nice. We've still got one skill point left, which I'm not sure if we can use yet. Oh yeah, we can. Here we go. Increased damage. Nice. So now we've increased this by three, this by two and this by two. Right. Let's get started. Back to the game. Okay, so we're going to head over to the giant now and climb over his dead body. Lovely. Climb through his skull. Oh, okay, we've got enemies already. The stupid bats are back. Come here. I need your power to upgrade. They're good at avoiding me. I must say that. Not that good, though. Right, i got to remember how to heal. So it's L2 to heal. I remember now. I'll have to use the magic ability we just picked up soon, guys. I'll check that out in a minute, but for now we're going to climb through the skull of this giant and I guess we make our way up the beanstalk. Can't go that way yet. We have got a dash ability as well, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there we go. 
Alright, let's keep going. This is really, uh, really pretty, I must say. I really like the art style of this game and the visuals of it, you know? Because it kind of looks like an actual fairy tale you're kind of exploring, doesn't it? Hey, we made it inside. I was worried then. Oh, we're standing on the bone of this guy's ankle. You can see the horror elements coming into this game. It's not a cutesy kids game at all. Alright, now that guy... Oh, we've got a new enemy, a bug. Look. Oh, man, this bug takes some... Take some attacks, and it actually drops stuff as well. Wow, this is actually tricky. Come here. There, we, we got him. Took a lot of damage, actually, that guy. All right, let's go and get this guy as well. There we go. So we've upgraded our um, attack damage. We can kill those things in one hit now, those little spiky things. So it just shows how strong the other stuff roaming around in this world is. Wow, look at its hand. It's so big. Can we cut the beans down? <laughs> nope. Hey, another save point. Getting loads of save points in this game already. Okay, where to next? This way? Yep. Looks like we go this way. Hey, look at that. This is fun. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. It looks like I need a grapple. Look, there's a button there to grapple with. We don't have a grapple. So I'm going to have to come back here later. As I said, I think this is a game where you kind of have to, um, you know, like upgrade before you can do certain parts of certain levels. Go this way. Bouncy, bouncy. And up we go. Nice. Hit another checkpoint. Equip menu. Do I have anything to equip? Berserk. Deal double damage when you're at 1 HP. Okay. So we were... Oh, that's what Berserk was for, because we unlocked that in the previous episode. Okay, that's good to know. Let's keep going. Oh, no. These stupid things. And these platforms, by the way, guys, actually turn to spikes when we jump on them. So we got that guy. Ah, quick. Yes, we got him. Come on. Let's get some respect put to my name for that, guys, because... I actually did quite well there, didn't I? And now I'm going to heal up again. Here we are. Oh man, I'm terrible at parts like this where you have to kind of dodge the spikes. It's why I uh, have yet to play Hollow Knight. Because this happens when I play games like that. And I haven't got any healing right now. I need another save point. Okay! As a Venus flytrap. And we died. Okay, we made it past, guys. That took me a few attempts, actually. This is getting very hard now. We've made it to the next save point, so that's good. So I don't have to worry as much. Ah! This is getting really tricky. Oh, no! We've got bats as well. This game is really hard already. I am playing on normal mode, not easy. But still, you know, it's already getting very challenging. So... <laughs> Maybe this is a game I end up rage quitting on. I don't know. Hopefully not. The checkpoints are pretty fair, to be honest. Right. Now I know what's coming. It's a little bit easier to kind of... Well, I say that as I, as I die. There we go. I think we did it. Move left and right and swing and then press jump. Okay. Got it. We made it. Nice. There's a health down there. A health point. Gives me a brilliant idea. Me too. I can charm your stitching thread and use it as a rope. I can tie you up and leave you here. Very funny. Okay, okay, I admit that's not a bad idea. Let's try it. Okay, grappling hook. Ooh, another ability already. So press triangle to throw the grappling hook and then left and right to swing. So we can actually get some abilities in the previous world now, I think, with that. So, let's grapple. Wow, look at that. Okay, that's not how you grapple, by the way, guys. <laughs> Don't do what I just did. But at least we got a checkpoint. I'll have to make my way back to where we were. Oh, wait. Look, there's something here as well. Let's try just grappling this way. Ah, yeah, okay. Okay, that wasn't good, but the rest of it was quite good. So, now we can go this way. 
Ah, yes. It's making sense, this game. Although, I keep hurting myself still because it's very tricky. But still, I'm kind of getting the hang of it, I think. We've got another checkpoint. Nice. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. I think I was very lucky then. No. All right, we reached the top, I think. Yes, look at this. We've got two portals out of four now. We might want to actually go back and explore a bit more because I think I missed some health items and stuff. But for now, I'm just going to keep going because I can always do that on my free time between episodes. So, you know, I'm not kind of just constantly backtracking. What the heck is this? This is actually really, really hard. If I press jump on this, I go straight into the ceiling, I think. Okay, good. Right, we're going to have to be careful here. Oh. Okay. Checkpoint, nice. That's all I wanted. Ah! <laughs> That's why. I'm just constantly dying. This is the episode where I just constantly die. <laughs> and you just see me, like, failing over and over. Let's try and jump normally this time. I'm not going to boost. Don't think we need to boost. Oh, okay. We've got some lightning. This looks like a high-voltage electricity area. A storm you mean, right? Deduction. You're kind of electrical yourself, after all. But... Well done for noticing the raging lightning storm with its <laughs> deafening roar. Be quiet! Lightning bolts damage us, lighties. I'm terrified of them. Quickly, we have to get past them. For the first time, I am starting to enjoy this dream. Come on, it'll be an electrifying ride. Stop that! Nice pun. Right, I suppose we've got to be careful here then. Look at those lightning bolts up there. We're just going to make our way across this beanstalk. Continue. Oh, there's one there. Man, this is really getting tricky. Ah! You don't get a second to think. Wait, what's over here? Just collected something. Oh, okay. No, that's not good. We made it. Surprisingly, I did that quite well. You're not going to eat us today. I am getting used to this game a little bit more now, I think. No, what the heck? Sometimes he doesn't jump right. So you have to kind of hold the jump button down on those sections and it's pretty tricky. All right, here we go. No, come on, man. It's so hard to get the jumps right sometimes. Wait, is that something I can get? Yes, dash damage unlocked. Sweet. Although I'm almost dead, but we'll take a look at what dash damage is in a minute. I think I know what it probably is, but still. Here we go. Swing, swing, swing. Now let's see if the dash works to hurt these enemies. Come on. Take it. Yeah, it does. Nice. Actually hurts them. We've got one. I've got two. Excellent. I'm going to use my magic soon as well. I still haven't used the magic to see what that does. And we got another save point. Nice. Okay. Let's go higher and higher. We still don't have the ability to go underwater, I don't think. So we don't want to do that. Unless we do have the ability to go underwater. I'm not sure. Should I, should I try? No, I can't go underwater yet. Okay, just checking. We need to learn how to swim, I think. So, let's stitch ourselves up and keep going. What's that? Did I get something from that? Or was that just mana? I think it was just mana, right? Ooh, a swing point. Nice. Oh, no. We got a save point, but we also got... One of these horrible flying... Well, I guess they're just flies. <laughs> I was going to say flying bugs. I think they're just flies. And it looks like we're on the third checkpoint of the level, which is good. So where do we want to go next? This way? I think so. I haven't actually seen any characters that talk to us like Riding Hood did in the last episode yet. Look, we've got to a village. This is pretty awesome. The castle is 
Huge. And it's floating in the clouds. Oh, so even the headstrong bear can get excited every now and then. Thanks to you, it didn't last long. Let's keep going. Yeah, let's just keep going. You can have your little lover's tiff later. Let's go down here. Okay. Right. I kind of messed that up. Oh, I can level up. I can level up. What should we do, guys? Shield. Grants Teddy a magic shield for protects against damage for a short period of time. You know, that could actually be good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this one. Let's see if we can use our magic shield then. Ooh, that's using our magic. I don't know how we use the shield, but we're using magic. Haven't you got somewhere to be like, you know, some like dung to be eating or something? Oh, there we go. Quick, quick, quick. Nice. All right, where do we go now? Can we do anything this way? Yes, we can. I thought we might find a secret area this way. I know these kind of games too well, you know? Oh, we made it. Nice. So what are we going to find this way, I wonder? Anything? Hmm. Maybe we were meant to go this way. Up close, it's even more impressive. The gate on its own is higher than any building I've ever seen. A giant gate, a giant castle, giant enemies. <laughs> It'll take more than that to stop us. That's the spirit. Well said. We aren't afraid of <gasps> Oh no, we're giant. caught by a giant hand. The heck? Suddenly, an enormous, filthy jar fell upon our unfortunate heroes. They were trapped. A terrifying giantess lifted the jar to examine her spoils. Pleased with her haul, she walked away humming contentedly to herself, taking our unfortunate bear with her. Transported against their will to an enormous castle, a pungent and revolting smell overwhelmed our two heroes. They were in a kitchen, surrounded by a vast selection of the finest ingredients, but everything was rotting. The giantess placed Teddy on a shelf, making sure he couldn't get out. Then she walked away happily, but she would be back. They had to get out of there, and quickly. So we're inside the giantess's kitchen now. Free animal, tasty dinner, happy husband. Hey, who are you calling dinner? I'd get eaten just to slice you up from the inside. Let's get out of here. Maybe that's a good idea. Let her eat us and then just cut her up from the inside. Okay, so we gotta push this over the edge, I think. Oh. Can we dash? Okay, I think that was meant to happen, maybe. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I thought I might have died then. Where are we? Are we in like a giant mound of flour? It looks like it, because we're in the kitchen, right? So this is our save point. We're in the greed now. Okay, so this is the next level. So what I might do, guys, is actually complete the greed and then we'll end this episode because I think that's a good sort of point to end, right? We've done two stages then. Ooh, look, we got cups. Can I do anything with them? Nope. What's this? Ah, it's a swing point. Some giant bread. Oh no, of course there's flies because it's the kitchen and they want the food. There we go, just take him out. I love that new dash ability, it's really good. Sometimes it's really tricky to hit these flying enemies. And all this level seems to be just flying enemies, which are of the most annoying kind. All healed up. Okay, I wonder if we can drop to this point. We can, nice. Oh, okay. We don't want to go down there. Don't open. Um, what do you say we change direction? We're here to kill armies of nightmare demons. And you're losing it over a simple sign? Oh man, there's gonna be gingerbread men inside, look. What do you want, stubborn bear? I like gingerbread though, so... You know what? I'm gonna have some gingerbread right now. Oh. Okay. And flies. Surprised the fly hadn't eaten the gingerbread itself. They're like zombies, look. 
should be gingerbread. In fact, here, have this. Boom. Nice. Nice. We got them. We destroyed the gingerbread man. Oh no, there's more. You know what? Have some of that. Boom. I love using our like special attack with the magic. Just takes care of them in like no time. So now we need to climb up a flower. And there's more, of course there is. We've got a fly. That's where we came. Alright. Take care of flies first. Oh no! Come here. Alright, that one's down. I'm gonna heal up. Drop your missiles, go on. You know you want to. Oh, okay. I thought I could boost through him, but I can't. This one's huge! Look at the giant gingerbread man there. Alright, he's down. You know what? Screw this. Boom. That fly's really annoying me. <laughs> okay, gingerbread down. And now it's time for the fly. Oh, he's still coming! He's not down yet. Now he is. The fly is still living. Man, the fly, this fly is insanely powerful. I really need to upgrade my attack ability so we can take care of these guys a bit easier. Let's just uh, fully heal up before we take on any more of these little gingerbread soldiers. Or zombies, I should say. They're not really soldiers, are they? They're like little zombies. There. Oh, he's still alive. Man, they trick you as well because they lay down on the ground and they start crawling again. There. Ah. Okay, he's down. Good. Look at all the bones in the background. Hopefully they're not, like, human bones. They're a bit big for human bones, right? Little swingy swingy. I love this grapple ability. Grapple is definitely my favourite ability so far. Okay. What are those? Oh, they look like they're infected or something. They're, like, glowing or something. Get him a hang of this, though. Get into grips with this combat, kind of. Ah, so if we hold L1, we block. It's good to know. Now I'm going to heal. Because I know you guys will get mad if I don't heal. Sometimes I forget to do these things though when I'm playing, you know? Oh! What? How is that stuff hurting us? I don't even know what that stuff is. Like, go to the bottom of a fork and that hurts us. We need another checkpoint. We haven't had a checkpoint in a while. Hey! And there we go. Just like that, we unlock one. No, I didn't want to fall down here. Great. I'm going to die. Come on. Just chop these gingerbread men down to size. Alright, we got him. And we got him. One left. Take it. There we go. Oh, level up. Nice. Let's upgrade. See what we can upgrade. I'm going to increase speed of our attacks. We're leveling up pretty fast though so far, which is good. Right, what's this? Is this something we can use? Ugh. This is like a spongy mushroom, I guess. Oh no. Wait, can I swing on that? Yep. I thought that might bring the, the spoon down, but it didn't. Chop these guys down. We're using up all our mana doing this, though. You really have to use your magic on these guys, though, otherwise they just overwhelm you so fast. Come here. They're just crawling, their legs have been severed. It's so twisted. Okay, good. Now I want to get this, whatever it is. Did somebody order a coffee? Oh wait, could I have just killed them with a coffee? I think I could have. Oh, don't know what's down there. I think we can drop down that little hole there as well, but yeah, I don't know what actually happens if we do. Hmm. 
I don't know if we keep going this way, guys, or if we should go back and try and drop down that that hole back there, you know? Seems like there's something up there we can get. I don't know what that is. Oh, wait, maybe I need to knock this out. Do we need to make that fall into the spoon somehow? Yeah, I don't think we can go this way yet. I think what we have to do is drop down this little hole here. Ugh, okay. Everything's rotten down here. This is the food they've forgotten about in the depths of the kitchen. We have to be very, very careful, I think. That's it. Yeah, just a bit of precision is all that's required. Okay, we're okay. Wow, look at that thing. I kind of feel sorry for it. It's just been, like, mangled like a voodoo doll. It's got pins all over it. Ooh, we want to put the weight in there. I get it. So now, ah, we can like lift that up and then I guess we just try and dash. There we go. All right, are you still alive? No, <laughs> didn't think it would be. Something serious went down here. Maybe it's the work of that chap who stole from the rich to give to the poor. What, Robin Hood? Really, not another lame storybook tale. Now isn't the right time. More to the point. Does that bow work? Sure, it's imbued with magic. Ooh, Look do we get a bow a now? Fairy can do. That'd be cool. Ta da! Great idea. Shouting ta da in a dresser full of zombie cookies. Don't worry, we're safe here. Now show me what you can do with your new weapon. Say okay. Your one How do we do it? Bug. How do we use it? How do we use it? Okay, so aim with right stick, press R1 to fire the arrow, hold R1, and then release to perform a quick attack. Oh, okay, this isn't actually that easy. <laughs> Man, what the heck? I'm going to go this way and I'm just going to aim with it. I'm kind of getting the hang of it now. It's not that easy though, but at least you can shoot the flying enemies a bit easier now. I still like the regular blades, you know, the scissor blades are the best, I think. But, you know what? I'll take the... I'll take the bow and arrow. It's okay. It's kind of useful. There we go. Nice. We did it. So we know what happens to uh, this little guy over here now. He got loads and loads of arrows in him. Oh, it's a secret. Unlocked hunter. I have to check what Hunter does. Let's have a look. Oh, we can't actually see until we go to the save point. I keep forgetting that. Never mind. It should at least let you take a look at it, I think, before you get to a save point. Dash and bounce and dash. Use the bow to open the passage. Ah, okay, nice. Clever. The game's kind of all coming together with all these new abilities we're getting. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Watch out! Oh, you're gonna have a great fall, my friend. Ugh, he's barfing everywhere. Okay. Wow. So he, what the heck? You can't even do any damage with a bow on him. You have to kind of hit him. We're gonna crack this egg open. Wow, his head's, his face is actually like eroding as we do this. Nice. We did it. I thought I had to wait till his back was turned, but you can just like smack him. We cracked that egg right open. So now, I think we can return to the area we were in before. Where was that, like, secret? Okay, so this is the section I was talking about before. I think we can shoot this now. Hopefully. Oh, yep. Shot a sausage on top of our head. Probably should have moved up away there. But no harm, no foul. Ooh, look, another mirror. And we can use our equip menu now to equip our new ability, which is Hunter, which gains us 50% more experience when we kill enemies. Which is definitely very useful. Ah, oh, I don't think I can put that in. We have to take one skill out. So we'll take that one out, and then we'll plug this one in. And then we can upgrade quicker anyway. Here we go. Ooh, what the heck is that? I just fell away. It's like a tongue or something. I guess it could be tongue. People eat tongue. Okay. 
Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. So I'm just going to swing by you guys. And I'm going to try and shoot you. This is actually really tricky. Whoa. You gotta keep moving about in this section. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty scary. Ah, stupid egg. Come here. Oh no. I didn't mean to do that. He's almost down. He's down. Wait, what? The whole thing just exploded when I killed the egg and I died. I didn't quite get that. I guess the platform just explodes. The game isn't always too clear, like, and sometimes it can cause annoying little things to happen like that where you had no idea that that was going to happen. But never mind. Oh, we're sitting up there. I want that. Swing, swing, swing. Hey, we got it. I don't know if that was just mana or if that was like something we needed. Okay. Now we got to kill the rest of these things. Somehow they didn't die, even though we did. They will now, though. I'm getting the hang of this bow and arrow, and I like it, you know? I like the bow and arrow now. Come here. When in doubt, just dash. Can't get through here yet. Can I, can I shoot that? Oh. I think we need to smash this out of the way and then jump and now maybe sh oh no we don't even need to shoot it just blows it up I think the red enemies are maybe like more powerful versions I'm not sure though I don't care either way they die just chopping into bits look there's so many of them we're definitely getting more powerful now, though. We're killing them a lot faster than when we entered the level, right? Go this way, maybe? Oh, yeah, look. We have to avoid these. Kill the flies. Unless they kill us first. Keep going up and 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 up. How many times can I say up in a single sentence? Place your bets. This is really getting tricky now. I'm going to have to heal. Oh, what? I didn't know it could go this way. What the heck? It changed course. That's unfair. Okay, look, we just got to try and survive. Let's just keep going up. We made it out alive somehow. I'll kill these guys. I should be killing every enemy so that we can upgrade faster, but I just don't want to risk dying again when we're so far from a checkpoint. And now I probably will. Ah! Ooh, a cauldron. Wait, can we make this... Yeah, we can make it fall. I thought we might be able to. Although we died as well. As soon as I do something impressive, I die in this game. I hope this isn't too frustrating for you guys to watch. You probably won't want a part three after this episode. Okay, so I'm guessing we don't want to go in the cauldron. Oh no, stupid egg. You know what? You can actually dispatch those eggs pretty quick once you know what you're doing with them. Just power through them, you know? Oh no, it's another egg. Come here. Okay, we got him. I think we can drop down to the lower level, maybe? Oh no, we can't. Scratch that. Stupid Humpty Dumpty looking thing. There we go. We got him. Surely we get a skill point soon, right? For all these enemies we're killing. The place just goes on and on. I want to know how you get down below as well. There doesn't seem to be any way down there. It might be one of those levels you have to come back to when we get another upgrade. Ooh, okay. So we're now halfway through the level. Halfway through the greed. Another checkpoint. 
I'm kind of scared. Whoa. Oh, great. That wasn't fair. How was I meant to know that you guys were down here? Right, let's heal up. Just waiting in the wings. There's loads of flies as well. My absolute least favorite enemy in the game. We actually took care of them quite quickly there, though. Getting good with these flies. Oh, no. Okay. Right, he's down. Come on. Heal up a little bit. Just buy ourselves some time. Okay. Oh, stupid thing. I didn't realize you were going to do that. You surprised me. Still don't know your attack patterns. Right, he's down. Ah, oh, they kill the other enemies. I didn't even notice that before. What the heck? Come on, man. I didn't realize it was going to boost into you like that. We can level up as well now. So let's heal and then we'll level up. Let's have a look. What skill point do we want? Charged attack. Unlocks the charged attack for light weapons. And look, these skill points are now expanding, which is pretty awesome. We can get a faster reload for our bow as well. I think it might be a good idea to actually increase our healing ability though, because that's something I complained about a minute ago. So now let's see how quickly we can heal. Ah, oh, that's much better. Good. Just chop these little fellas down. I kind of feel sorry for the fact I've just cut his leg off, but he's not going to be alive too much longer to know about it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. What the heck is that? It sounds like a train. That bow is so like underpowered right now. Like we really want to upgrade it, I think, if we want to use it much. It just doesn't do much. At least not compared to our blades, which are like getting quite OP at this moment. I really want it to be like at the end of the game where we're just cutting enemies down like in one hit with our blades because we've just upgraded them so much. I have a very bad feeling about this. Me too. There's lots of eggs around here. What the heck is that? How tarnation am I supposed to kill this thing? Can I shoot it? Oh! Oh, shoot it, yeah. This is actually really hard. You feel that? We got him again. Okay. Monster thing! Yeah, this is really tricky. Oh great. Now he's making holes in the floor. Okay. Let's see if we can get him again. Yes, we did it. And now we've got the double jump. Press X to jump twice. Sweet. Well, that'll come in handy. Hey, look at that. How nimble we are. Yeah, that was actually really tricky to hit the eggs at the right time. It wouldn't always register with the enemy. I was getting quite annoyed by it. But never mind. We've done it now. Got another checkpoint. V5, so fair. I smell the stuffing of a teddy bear. It looks like a little Lego man. It's a king. I've been waiting for you, my little dinner. Bow to your king. Hell no. Your majesty, you better get out of here before your dinner kicks your- Wife? Why is my dinner still alive? Wife? Not no. Is this overgrown troglodyte your wife? All right, man, that's a bit harsh. You mention it? I remember the story a little differently as well. You insolent bear. You're mine. This castle is mine. Everything you see is mine. Wife, pick me up. Let's make them pay. Yes. Man, I don't even want to know how they, uh... How they uh, get busy. Right, let's go. We're gonna head up here. Okay, I think we just have to maybe um, dodge through those things. Okay, swing. And swing again. And again. Oh, this is going okay so far. I really, really, really want to be able to heal because I'm on my last bit of health. I think I died. 
So I died and I've reset and for some reason my sound is balked. Now I really hope that this isn't going to continue past this sequence because if it is, I'm not going to be able to continue the game because uh, you won't want to hear the sound all messed up like this the whole time. So if, if the developers are seeing this, um, yeah, you might want to fix this in your game because <laughs> uh, it's a pretty bad bug. But we'll hopefully continue and, uh, and get through this okay. Let's just keep moving up. I forgot I had to double jump to be fair. There we go. It's working. We're doing it. Okay, wow. This is tricky. This is very tricky. Run, 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 run. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I know. What the heck? Where am I meant to go? Oh, we've got to destroy these now. I'm just going to keep running. I don't think we're meant to like fight all these things, right? I don't think we'll have time. Let's just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah! What the heck? Man, the screen is moving so fast now. Whoa! Okay, she missed again. She's not a very uh, good hunter, that's for sure. Go! And again. Swing to safety. Oh! Yes, we made it. Don't know how that worked, but there we go. Wait, how do we get that? Maybe we have to go this way. I don't know how we get that thing that was uh, hidden away there, but never mind. I'm going to keep going up. I'm kind of worried the sound hasn't fixed itself yet. Whoa. Oh no, what the heck? Maybe I need to heal. Don't know if I've got time to heal properly, but I've healed slightly. Ah! going. That double jump really uh, putting in the work there. Hey. Actually getting quite good at this now. Stop calling me fur brain. So harsh. Um, What do I do? What do I do? Up. You wouldn't double jump then. I don't know what's happening. Oh, there's actually something there I could have got. Never mind. Ah! Run! Dash! Keep dashing! Go! And again! And again! And again! And jump! Yes! Look at the origami! That's kind of cool! Oh, we need to get on the plane! Ah, oh, sweet! And fly away! Hey! He jumped onto the paper airplane, animated by light is magic. As the giantess's hand fell upon them, the two heroes took flight, escaping the terrible creature. The king, furious, ordered his wife to chase them. She had to catch them at any cost. She broke into a desperate run, reaching up, 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 to seize the two fugitives. Without realizing, there was no longer any ground beneath her feet. Free of pursuers, their journey continued without... Did she, like, fall to a death? Then Teddy saw a mistress floating island in the distance. The airplane glided down to the surface of the sea, and Lighty promptly turned it into a small boat. Our plucky adventurers had reached the fabled Never Again land. Ooh, nice. What is this place? Islands floating in the sky, do you remember from Alicia's books? The one with the three headed monkeys? I give up. So we've got to this area now. I'll just see what happens next and then we'll wrap up the video. Hey, look what I found. I've got a brilliant idea. A genie in the lamp, maybe, right? That's not good. Oh, we're in the lamp now. Howdy! Welcome to my home, Traveler. I'm Stan, the genie of the lamp. I know you're going to leave here happy today. Sounds like a game show How host, do I doesn't know? he? Because this is the place where multiple reckless wishes are granted. Multiple. Isn't that great? And in return, freedom is given. Think about it. Three wishes for one of us, freedom for the other, 
Isn't that great, kid? Yes, sirree, everyone's a winner. Ah, but I see down in your eyes, you're wondering if I'm a real genie. Is that right? Then, let me show you what real magic is, kid. Pretty impressive, huh? Hey, I left you we're a pirate. Speechless. Amazed. Hey, what in tarnation? Shut up for a moment. You said I have three wishes, right? One, get me out of this darn lamp, it stinks. Two, destroy the nightmares that are tormenting the little girl. Three, get out of my sight. Forever. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Come on, my friend. That's not how this works. You're the one who has to fulfill three of my wishes. Otherwise, what sense would it make? You have only two options. Grant my wishes, or stay and rot in this stinking lamp. But since I <laughs> already know what you'll choose to do, for my first wish, I want to be able to fly. Head to the forest of the black fairies and kill them all. We need to collect enough magic dust for me to absorb their power. What are you doing still standing there? Go to the black fairy forest and kill them all. It'll take a lot of magic dust for me to soar like a majestic eagle through the infinite blue of the skies. I hate this guy. But at least I get to kill fairies, which is one of my favorite pastimes. What's wrong with fairies, man? Charming. Anyway, those are vulgar tooth fairies. Don't you dare compare them to me. If you say so. All right, so we're going to have to go and murder the fairies in the forest by the sound of it, guys. In the next episode, um, normally, you know, you associate fairies as nice little things, but apparently in this world, they're not. And look, we can swing on the trees now. Have to swing across the water. Yep, and here we go. Here is our next. Oh, are these fairies? No, these look like griffins. They're like, no, they're not griffins, are they? They're like harpies or something, little monkey things. Either way, we're now on the selfishness, which is the next world. And I might, in my past time, like revisit some of these other areas to get some new um, abilities. But I won't do that in the videos because it might get repetitive for you guys. But either way, guys, I'm not sure if I'll continue this playthrough. I might do. It depends how much you guys want to see it and how many people watch this episode. So we'll take it from there. And that's where we're going to leave it for this episode, guys. As I said before, uh, I will continue if there's enough people watching and enough interest in this series going forward. Otherwise, I might leave it here. We'll just have to wait and see what the demand is for this series. With that said, hopefully you've enjoyed watching The Darkest Tales Episode 2 today. And if you have, I'd appreciate it if you can leave me a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you on the next one.